you know, we only heard about his street art mostly after he was killed, which is really, really sad. No, but he's part of this huge community in Chicago of artists, and they are just so talented. I mean, the creations they make are is just amazing. He made screen printing was what he really started to do because he could, you know, do a lot of screen prints and put them up on billboards, on electrical boxes. You know, he could just yeah. peel it off or use wheat paste and put it up. So it was, you know, just something that was something that was him. He had to do he it. Had to do he it. had to do it. Yeah. I, I really like this the, this piece. Caution may cause invaluable work, work experience. experience. That's a great one. That was his first assignment at his job. Oh, okay. so this is the evil man. It's a combination of five evil characters through history. You can see Hitler's slicked over hair. Uh -huh. And I believe it also included uh, Mayor Daley of Chicago. Oh, really? <laughs> Mayor Daley? <laughs> the, uh, Mayor Daley had this war on street artists. I mean, so he's an evil man. Yeah, it can take forever to bring a criminal to trial, but if you slap a poster up on a electrical box, you've got a ticket. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and the and the buffing police are out immediately. So, do you know yeah. who the other three characters I, might have been? I'd have to look it up. I don't yeah. remember. Interesting though. Yeah. <laughs> But that's sort of... The evil he, man. He, Brendan was, uh, the whole name, Salve, was very political. And I guess he grew up in a very political family. And oh, he did? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Just a little. <laughs> Those Irish folks. <laughs> yeah. We had a lot of discussions. They're feisty. A lot of discussions at the dinner table. And uh, so he chose the name Salve because it's like, okay, you've got a problem. What do you do with it? He solved it. He was very much against violence as a means of solving whatever your problem was. It's like, sit down, talk about it, yeah. discuss it, figure it out. And then the irony. Yes. Well, it'd be nice if somebody we could solve that problem, wouldn't it? Yeah. How'd you come up with the name Solve? Um, well, it's kind of funny. For some reason, I wanted an S name. I don't remember why. I wanted to start with an S. <laughs> and then I wanted to allude to something greater than just, you know, uh, I guess like a moniker or a, like a pseudonym. I wanted to actually, you know, say something about um, things. <laughs> I think it's visual that people are getting put in jail for writing on stuff. Well, I got arrested a couple of times for doing kind of my street art stuff, and I got convicted on one, and then the second one, well, the charges were dropped, so uh, that's why I'm here and not in jail right now. <laughs> <laughs> You can only see three of them, but he's a, like a conglomeration of five historical figures that are typically considered bad people. My pseudonym is Saul. I grew up in in Wisconsin. I recently graduated a, uh, a design school in the Chicago area. Most of my inspiration comes from like society as a whole and just kind of stuff that I see around me. So I guess in that sense, yeah, Chicago would inspire me just because, you know, I'm here and it's around me. But, I mean, it'd be the same if I was in, you know, New York or San Francisco or Miami or Paris or whatever. I just, you know, see what's around me, and that's that's where my inspiration comes from. I do have a day job. I work for a um, marketing company here in Chicago. I, you know, I never really saw myself doing marketing or advertising. Like, I, I would have preferred to be kind of more on the... Um, designier side of things, like you gotta, you gotta pay the bills. Oh, I guess I'll take.
take the uh, yuppie Nuremberg defense. <laughs> and then you got our lovely Mayor Daly. Everyone loves him. You know, business, the business just like anything else, you know, um, everyone wants to make their dollar so they can, you know, continue to do what they want.